Welcome to Career Talks with Sri. My name is Srividya Santosh and I provide unbiased guidance when it comes to higher education, premium institutes, entrance examinations, etc. In this video, we are going to discuss everything about agriculture engineering, popularly known as BTEC in agriculture. Even though BSc Agriculture and BTEC Agriculture is a four years, the content of both these programs are different. In BTEC Agriculture, you are learning to apply engineering and technology for better production in the field of agriculture. Let's see what all do you learn when you take up agricultural engineering program. You learn to design and construct and improve farming equipment and machinery. As you all know, there are a lot of machineries that are included in agriculture, right? Earlier, we used to use animals to do a lot of tasks in the field. But nowadays, it's not about animals. A lot of new technology has come in. So when it comes to technology, a lot of machineries will come in and there should be people behind all these things to find the right equipments, to make the right equipments, to implement these equipments, to educate the farmers about how to use these equipments in the fields, right? So these are the people who have studied agricultural engineering and they get into all these fields. Also, you learn to manage land and soil. You learn to apply different methods from technology and engineering for better yields. You solve pollution and storage issues. What is pollution and storage issues? A lot of pollution problems that are happening right now. So like a lot of technology has to be found to avoid these issues or reduce these issues. When it comes to storage, as you all know, even at home, when you keep certain products after a certain time, there will be insects that comes in, right? And that will damage the entire thing. That's all about a home and we are buying probably like a small quantity of a product. Now think of we keeping in a huge quantity of all these products and some insects coming in and like damaging the whole thing. This is a serious issue. Now there can be technologies that can be applied to avoid all these things. Okay, so that is where the agricultural engineers plays a role. Now, agricultural engineering is a combination of different types of engineering. Never ever think that like, okay, it is agricultural engineering. So it is agriculture. So it is only physics, chemistry, biology. No, biology is not going to play a role here. It is engineering. So it is mathematics. It is physics, chemistry and mathematics like any other engineering program. Even the eligibility also says like you have to have mathematics for your plus one and plus two. It is a combination of various types of engineering programs like your mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, civil engineering and electrical engineering. It's a combination of all these things that you learn for your agricultural engineering program. Let's see the syllabus of agricultural engineering. You learn the science of soils, you learn horticulture, you learn farm machinery, you learn air conditioning and refrigerating operational research, you learn crop processing engineering, you learn environmental studies, tractors and power units. Okay. So when you go through the syllabus itself, you can understand that uh, it is all about technology and engineering. So those kids who are interested in the field of agriculture, but don't want to learn more about the science of it, you can always look into agricultural engineering, which is a scopeful field uh, in this generation. Okay. Now specialization and higher studies. If you see after completing your BTEC in agriculture engineering, you can go for hydrology and water resources. You can learn integrated water resources and management because after doing a beta program, there are certain children who wish to get into the management industry rather than getting into too much of technical stuff. For them, you still have options of getting into management. You also have something called MBA in agribusiness management. For getting into MBA agribusiness management, it's not mandatory that like you should have learned BTEC in agricultural engineering or BSc in agriculture. Even if you've taken any field of uh, undergraduation program, you can do an MBA in agribusiness management. But if you have learned something like an agricultural engineering program and then gone for an MBA in agribusiness management or even water resources management or anything as such, you will have an upper edge. What would that be? Because you know uh, what exactly the field is. That's what you have learned for your undergraduation. So that will be helpful for you if you are taking a management program in these fields. Now, the course details, if you see eligibility, you should learn physics, chemistry and mathematics for your plus one and plus two. The duration of the program is four years. The entrance examination, there is no particular national entrance examination which can be said for this thing apart from the ICER thing. 
every institute has their own programs there are state level entrance examinations for getting into agricultural engineering so i would say it depends on the institute so please check with the institute that you are planning to pursue your agricultural engineering program if they have a specific entrance program maybe there will be institutes which ask you for doing a je or a program in or an entrance in icr or any state level entrance examinations for getting into this thing so check with the respective institute before planning to get into an agricultural engineering program you have various higher studies options also available now where can you get employed or like what can you be after completing this program you can become an agricultural engineer you can become a resource manager you can become an agronomist you can become a crop engineer there are various things that you can get in after completing an agricultural engineering program so those kids who are interested into getting into this field please go ahead good luck